This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Mick Garris. There was a brief period in the early 80s where I did publicity for movies in the science fiction, fantasy, and horror genre. It was really a great time to be doing this, and I worked on movies like The Howling, The Fog, Scanners, E.T., Poltergeist, and a little movie called Ghost Story. I will take you places where you have never been. Ghost Story was based on a novel by Peter Straub, and it was a book I had really loved. It was dense and intelligent, story of a group of haunted men, uh, a theme similar to the one at the center of Bag of Bones, the Stephen King novel I turned into a miniseries recently. It really had all of the elements of a classic tale, the New England winter, the old dark house, a horrible homicide, and a dark and deadly secret. It was very unusual in that the main stars are, besides lead actor Craig Wasson, who plays a pair of twin brothers, they're all octogenarians. Three of the old men were major leading men in their youth, Fred Astaire, Melvin Douglas, and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. And John Hausman was a very successful producer who became an actor late in life, and he rounds out the Chowder Society. But even with the quality of the cast, the one who stood out most to me was Alice Krieger, a British South African actress I had never seen before. She has a really incredibly unique look, very old-fashioned beauty that was quite impressive to me with strange, penetrating, and ghostly eyes. This performance really knocked me out and was the reason I cast her ten years later in Sleepwalkers. The film has an incredible atmosphere and a wonderful sense of dread. The location work, mostly in upstate New York, is quite haunting yet really lovely. John Irvin was the director working in a genre that was new to him. He had sudden success after years of working in British television and films with the original UK miniseries of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy in 1979. But the stunning special makeup effects were by the great Dick Smith. There's a sequence of a decaying body that is resurrected from a car crash that sticks with me to this day. And in fact, I used it to guide the effects crew on a sequence in Bag of Bones. One of my weirdest experiences doing the publicity on this film happened shortly after the production had been completed. My job that day was to go through the still photos from the production and make some selects for magazine pieces. I was going through the proofs and was leafing through the pages with Melvin Douglas lying in a coffin. He died that day. Thank you. 